Hey, welcome back to Retro Plays, the show where I, Bao, play retro games for your viewing pleasure. Last week I completed Spyro 2, and naturally this week I'm looking to do Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. So, with that said, here's the opening, which looks very similar already to the first two games. It's like they don't ever change it up or anything. <laughs> I mean, they do change it up, but you know what I mean. It's consistent, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to knock it or anything. So, yep, there it is. Spyro, you of the dragon. It kind of looks like the Mortal Kombat logo in the background there. That's kind of funny. So we got that ninja dude, and so on. So, I guess the engine never really changed throughout the series. The original trilogy as in. Each game pretty much looked the same. So that's interesting. Alright, let's create a new save slot on my memory card here and then we can finally start the game there we go oh what is this i can select an icon isn't that weird um well i'm just gonna be generic and just go with spyro there you go and here it is an evil plot unfolds do they seriously think that filter looks good that little effect there it looks weird but whatever I guess it looked alright at the time, right? Damn! So I'm back in the world of Avalor, it seems. Oh, what is going on here? They're stealing our dragon eggs! Sick bastards! That's interesting, Hunter is in Avalor. As opposed to wherever he was in World 2. I forget what the world was called that Spyro 2 took place in, so... We'll just call it World 2. <laughs> A powerful villain emerges. Dun dun dun. It's not Ripto, it's not Nasty Nox, who is... Capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Looks like a Super Mario bad guy. Also, villain was a woman. How progressive of, in of Insomniac. Anyway, a desperate rescue begins. Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro. The forgotten worlds. You'll levels. have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go. Okay. So I guess this game takes place in the forgotten worlds? If I'm understanding that right? Now I have a bit of an understanding of Spyro's lore. I feel Find great. And bring them back, Spyro. You're our only okay. chance. You got it. Sure thing. Kind of like Spyro 1 where all the dragons got frozen. But this time we're getting the little eggs. Our eggs. Our dragon eggs. They took our eggs. The adventure begins at last. Looking forward to this. Probably be the last Spyro game I play for a while. Except for the remaster, of course. I'll be playing that. So here it is, already, already in it. Spyro 3, let's go. Looks very similar to Spyro 1 still, which is great because that's the way I like it. You know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I feel like I butchered that saying somehow, but whatever. So I guess I'll start by getting some of these gems in the overworld here, naturally. Um, I can't seem to dive yet, which means of what I learned in Spyro 2, I no longer have. What the hell? Wait. Oh no, I can. Okay, I can head bash, so that means I probably can dive. I just can't dive in that general area just yet. So I go with the little gems here. May as well look at um, uh, the Atlas. It's not called the guidebook in this one. Okay, so these are 
the overworlds, I suppose. And uh, I'm currently in sunrise, spring worlds, and then you got midday, evening, and midnight. So it's all based on the time of day, I guess. And you got sparks worlds, which is probably some sort of bonus level. And it doesn't look like this much there. No, oh, bonus world, should I say. So I'm in here, and this is it's a couple of levels in here. We got about, it looks like four normal levels, a speedway level. Um, and I think there's a side character in this one. That's the kangaroo, which would explain that. And we probably have a boss battle. And um, this actually tells you that there's an egg by the stream and so on. So 4% done of the overworld, so let's carry on. So I'm kind of acting like I haven't already played this game, and I, you know what, I'm just going to knock it off right now. I'm going to outright say I've already played this a little bit. Like, I always practice before going into a game, so I know that for a fact there is a side character that is a kangaroo. But anyway, his Isabel, we just saved her, isn't that great? Done. Okay. Moving on. The thing that I don't do during practice is watch the cutscenes. I always skip those, so it's always nice to see when I do eventually get recorded. Checkpoint me up. Hi, Spyro. Hey, Zo. To look left or right, press the L2 uh -huh. or R2. Oh yeah, I know this stuff. Come on, who you think I am? You think I skipped straight to Spyro 3? That was a bit overkill on the basket there. Uh, there's our first level. I guess we can just jump straight into that. What is going on here? No oh, shit. So you're the one in charge Young of rescuing cop. the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. No, no. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find oh, in a thousand wow. years. Really? Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. <laughs> and you won't You like ain't me when gonna I'm angry. do shit. Okay. Uh I suppose I could have jumped into a level there, but um I'm gonna keep collecting stuff. Because it's fun. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rip earphone users. Oh boy. <laughs> Carrying on. Uh, what you want? Your game camera is currently in passive mode. Oh yeah? This mode requires you to control the camera yourself. Uh -huh. It moves more slowly. Okay. If you like, I can change the game camera. So last time mode. I did in, in fact change mode, this to the active mode. Much faster. Um just because it sounded better and I didn't have a problem with it so the I'll just switch it back to active. active mode and we'll move faster. I don't really notice like the it, difference to be to honest see. though. Or change it yourself by using the options. Okay. Uh speaking of options, may as well put on the mini map. Um save game. Save game is nested in the options. What? <laughs> okay. Sound. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Um, general, camera, vibration on. Okay, it seems that there is no minimap in this game, which... Which is a shame, actually. Because that was one of the things I liked about Spyro 2. Oh well, guess we'll be going without a minimap. Um, hmm. I feel like most players probably didn't even know that there was a minimap option in Spyro 2 because it's not like a fairy would have told you that there is an option for putting on a minimap but there was for some reason a fairy telling you about um, passive mode and whatever so I don't get why they wouldn't have had one for the map there we go we just saved Liam so yeah that's a shame no minimap is what I'm gonna get <laughs> Okay, what's well, okay, so I need ten dragon eggs. Uh-huh. And the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragon eggs. Dragons hatch. Okay. Uh I should probably jump into a level already, but this is interesting to see the overworld. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. Yep. Okay, uh, I mean I get it. You gotta dive. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna try to skip the dialogue that's kind of pointless. There you go, save Bruce! Yay! Okay, 
Nice. Meow. Is there like no, um, what's it, background music for this game? <laughs> it's just so silent. Okay. Oh no, there is, it's just quite faint. Maybe it's kicking in, I can't quite tell. Yeah, it's kicking in. There it is. <laughs> okay. Nice. What we got here? Sparks. Spar Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Meet me back here later. Zoe. Zoe was, um, who was Zoe? Was that the fairy? Okay, so I guess that's probably how you get to the first, um, I don't know, the first, what am I trying to say, first bonus level, I guess, in the Spox world, and then this is probably how you get to the next world, so we'll deal with that later. Okay, so, that's probably most of the overworld explored, and there is some more stuff there, and I'll come back to it later, I feel like I should jump into a level already, because I'm kind of not making this entertaining by just wandering around the overworld. Okay, so let's go about doing that. Now if I remember correctly, and I would rather not have to do this, but um, I think it would be best. Hang on, let me just clear up a few things. Alright, let me just go through this. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads thing to a different jigs. world. There they go but again with the thingamajigs. To get across to it. Press the X yeah, okay. We've gone over this in Spyro 2. And Spyro 1 for that matter. Let's go here first. There you go. Uh, what I was trying to say was that um, for level 1 to be 100 percented you need to unlock I saw this, shiny um, in that the kangaroo character. Let's go check okay, it hang out. on. You can get there by hovering. Uh huh. And basically, to unlock the kangaroo character, you have to collect a certain amount of gems, and you also have to do a level that oh, the kangaroo I character does. So I, I don't know. I don't think I should have the first level be a kangaroo level. So I think what would be a good idea is to do that level that I just passed first, because I'm pretty sure I won't be needing. Um, the kangaroo dude, I, I don't know his name, um, for that level, so yeah, but again, I'm still exploring the overworld for some reason. This is a super fly okay, yep, superfly power up, and yeah, okay, we all know about that, uh, okay, so may as well go through it. Whee! Now, I'm pretty sure this is flying up here, there is that, an egg. Amy! Done. Saved your ass. Wow, I already got five. That's all of them in the overworld. Interesting. So I'm probably quite close to 100% in the overworld already. Which is great. Uh, get all this stuff. I swear I will get into a level soon, but this is also something that we'll need doing by the end of the episode, so why not just do it, huh? It's still the same thing, pretty much. It's nice and fun. It's all a bit of fun at the end of the day. Okay, uh... Oh boy. Okay, yeah. There is something else. I'm pretty sure you can get a bonus life if you fly all the way through the cave and just to the left there's a ledge, so I got flight quite high. There it is. You just about can make it. There you go. Um, right. So here's a uh, money bag. So let's talk to him. Spyro, my my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> we? Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very... Okay, what is going on here? Too. This seems very sketchy. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the Sheila, kangaroo Sheila, that's the kangaroo. Up. <laughs> the pesky it's animal girl, then. causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if Dude, this is so fucked say, up. A small fee? You're sick, money bags. I do not like the way your character has developed. And that is all my gems gone. 
Okay. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Naivete. I nature might be your like downfall that. someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Okay. So he just sold me a person's freedom. That's kind of fucked up. No hard feelings. I guess this is a cutscene. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, oh, eh? Oh, he's a boy. At right. least. He's After Australian, all, of course. Doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> so is you right, you piece of shit. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Huh. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. Ah, I mean, they say this world just had magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Where have yeah, I heard that before? starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I feel like it's in a couple of things out there. A couple of fictional like. stories that talk about magic disappearing. Something to do with dragons. Anyway, uh, that was a good cutscene. I hadn't seen that, so um, really kind of made it a lot more interesting, actually. Now then, I think it's time I do a level. So yeah, to 100% level 1, you have to do this one first. And I don't want to do that one just yet. And also, Sheila is an interesting name for a boy. Again, being very progressive. Now, so... The wise thing to do would be to move on to level 2 or level 3, depending on how you look at it. Have I not 100 percent of this yet? I guess there was that little area that I didn't go to. Alright, pretty much have. 93% of the overworld already done. That's what I'm talking about. So, let's do this level first. It seems logical. Cloud Spires. See what this is about. Get in there. Oh, that's right. I was thinking, I couldn't have just collected that many gems, but I realized I just had to pay for an innocent creature's freedom. There was no cutscene. Interesting. Maybe Spyro 3 doesn't have that many cutscenes then. As much as Spyro 2 did. Hey, stop! Okay. Cloud Spires, way! Fuck you. So I suppose these enemies are a little bit harder than what they would be in level 1, so the whole scaling of this episode will be a bit bizarre. What's up, man? What's the deal? The Rhinox have shut down our cloud Look at that hair. And I'll never see a rainbow again. Okay. <laughs> so you want me to restore power to the generator? Simple enough, so they can see the rainbows. There you go. Oh, wow. That's nice. So. If my wings were big and strong like Uh-huh. If your heart had wings. Nah, he said big and strong. I just felt like saying that for some reason. Get out of here. Here we go. Now we're destroying enemies. This is what I was missing. I was thinking there was something off about collecting stuff in the overworld, and that was the lack of challenge. Alright, head up here. Hey. The metal armor those enemies are wearing. Okay, uh, look, I've already faced them now at this point. Again, you're telling me stuff after the fact. I don't care. Alright. Okay. Whoa. Dealt with. Oh, I thought I fell to my death for a moment there. Let me get this stuff. Game is still forgiving at this stage. Nice. So, uh, I reckon I could easily get through this episode without dying, so that will be the challenge. Dare I say, get through it without getting hit. Now to get up here, this will probably turn into a whirlwind, so um, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Probably be backtracking through here later on. Whee! Hey, 
Okay, the wind doesn't actually hurt you, so that didn't count as a hit. We just found Stephanie. There you go. How am I hatching those eggs so quick? I thought you were supposed to sit on them and stuff. Anyway. Uh, okay. Something about uh, the shading on Sparks looks different in this game. I'm not sure if I like it. Hey! He almost hit me. Whoa, easy now. Classic Spyro, putting stuff so close to the edge so you just fall right off. Very clever. Uh huh, got all that. Sparks, you're not collecting stuff quick enough. Okay, that's pretty much everything here. Head up. Oh, fucking money bags. Well, Do I even have well, any gems? This isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of Yeah, I bet she has. Okay. Um, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. 200 gems. There go all my gems once again, this son of a bitch. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Fuck you, how about that? Oh, come on, they could at least stay down. Okay. Huh. Uh. Oh, interesting. So, um, that's another thing about this game. They drop gems when you hit them now. Unlike in Spyro 2, which, where they drop those, uh, to get your little white orb supply, things that unlock um, like power ups. Okay, yeah, I know how to play. Uh, yeah, I think um, in Spyro 1 that was the case actually, where they dropped gems every time you killed an enemy. Where'd he go? Whoa. Oh, damn. Okay, go with that. There was an enemy here. There he is. Haven't been hit yet! That's a real challenge, man. You shouldn't get through an episode without getting hit. It's quite crazy. There you go. So there's no orbs in orbs in this game. It's like it's kind of rolled back to a simpler time. Oh, you activated Fluffy. Maybe I can get uh huh. The generator working. Well, there we go. We got the generator working. Hey, cutscene. Oh, there goes an egg. It was blocking the generator. And you can see your pretty little rainbows. Well, I don't the see any rainbows. Oh, now it's raining. The Rhinox must generator. have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Oh, it's an egg. Henry! Sup? Yeah, buddy. The Dragon Kingdom is growing. Very greatly. Okay, so now, these little portals over here are actually side quests. Which I may as well show them. Show right now. Wee running on air. Okay, so what are we doing here? Our sun has gone out. The sun has gone out. You can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds. But they keep burning out before we can get to get them to the pot. The Step on the to switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. So this is a sun seed, I guess. And then he'll go over here and you have to flame him, otherwise he will go out. So anytime he stops, you pretty much want to do that. Get up there. There you go, he's in the pot. So that's cool. Let's get these gems before I forget. Oh, damn it. Yeah, they're all hidden in between, like these platforms so be sure to look there that seems to be it let's get another sun seed going pow 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 get that as well get that very missable super missable in fact okay let's get all this oh dear hang on it takes me a while between games getting the hang of things oh well it's about to walk into lava then I would have definitely taken a hit then. Okay. I'm going to be up front. I don't think I can get through an episode without taking a hit. But, uh, it's worth a try. Okay, second lava seed, or whatever they're called. Sun seeds? 
Is that what it was? Where you going? Oh boy. He's about to go out. Uh-uh. You ain't going out. Not on my watch. Oh boy. There you go. Oh, he's in. Alright, sweet. Let's get another one. Go back here. There you are. Looks like the Kool-Aid guy. Guess it was around that time. Get up there, man. Oh, interesting. You went that way. Whoa! That's a close one. Uh-uh. Hey, done it. I restored your son. Fusion! Ha! Yeah, Kool-Aid son. Now that's what I call a son. Yeah, damn straight you do. Here, uh, okay. Here you can have this last sun seed as a sun suit. Uh, silver. Ah, uh, what the fuck has happened to me? Anyway. Okay, Lulu. There you are. Now then. Did I get everything before I leave? Let me just check that. I want to say I did. I mean, I explored it pretty well. So let's just go on that hunch. And if I'm missing a gem, I think we'll know where it is. So we're turning back to that level now. It's kind of interesting to have a level with portals within it. So that will be the exit. And here's an additional area, which I haven't explored. Oh, this is another side quest. Interesting. Okay, what's the deal here? We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of Uh-huh. But the mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. So, we got to use this and take him out. One down. Two down. Three down. Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh, I missed one. That's a bit problematic. I missed another one. Okay, well, I guess I could just recircle through it. Um, so this guy. Oh shit. Okay. Come on, I can still make it. There you go. Done. Wasn't textbook, but I did it anyway. So I just restored some cloud thing. He seems very happy and musical. And he's causing more rain. I'm making this world kind of depressing. Dratus. Do you want this doodad? He fell out of the belfry. Jake. Don't call him a doodad. Disrespectful little shit. Last guy called him a silvernear. Which was even worse. Anyway. Let's get that. Oh, interesting. Egg fee. This is it's funny how I mentioned this in Spyro 2 that I missed the egg fees from Spyro uh, Spyro 1 and now they're back. And now I instantly regret having said that because I am struggling to get this guy. Damn it. Be careful what you wish for. I cannot catch up to him. What the heck? And that's not gonna help. Or that. That's such a typical thing in Spyro. You headbutt a wall and then you immediately headbutt it again. Mm, getting there, getting there. Just need to cut a corner and flame him. I could get him. Nope. Maybe not. Come on, man. Come on. I'm gonna get you. Eventually. Just don't know when. Oh my god, this is painful. This is actually painful. I'm so sorry, guys. There you go. Brian, the dragon! Oh shit, he was born with sunglasses on. Incredible. It's part of his genetics now. His parents wore sunglasses so much that he was born with them. Okay, now I need to make sure that I've actually got everything before heading off, and I know for certain there's gems scattered all over the place. So I'll be sure to get that. Mostly behind these things. 
I want to say I got it all. I mean, I just saw some gems over here, though. So let me get that. Okay, yeah, it, it looks like I've got it all at this point. So let's head on out of here. Just make sure I've got everything up here. Yeah, it looks fine. Fuck it. Again, we'll know where they're missing from. If I am missing some. Coming back here into... I was gonna say the overworld, but it's a level. Oh, I've gone back in. Let me get back out. Okay, back out. Now then. There's still a couple of things that need exploring. And I believe... I mentioned before there was this area that looked like it had the potential to be a whirlwind to get me up to, to get me up a platform. Um, just trying to remember where that was exactly. There, it's up there. Wow, I didn't make that jump. I was so certain that I would, but I did. Okay, and sure enough, it is a whirlwind. Get up there. There you go. Got life. Nice. How many is that now? Not bad. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, more enemies. Oh, missed them. Out the way, lads. Uh, okay, let me go back because I don't know whether I'll be coming back that way. Let's get them while I can. Okay. There you go. Ooh, there's fire there. Okay. I mean, I could probably jump over it, but I'm playing it a bit more cautious than normal. Oh dear. Okay. Got that. And there's an enemy over there. So, hmm. Let's get him. Huh. Gotcha. Let's get all this, and then we'll get that dragon egg. Nice. Claire. Ah, glasses. Born with glasses again. Interesting. Okay, that's all the eggs in this level. Wow, there were six of them. That's like more than the overworld. Uh, right. What am I missing? Let's have a look. Ah, it takes a while to open, doesn't it? So, ten gems, I guess. Uh, where would those be, I wonder? Ten gems? That could be anywhere. Let's head here and figure it out. Okay, um, I'm back at the end of the level now. There is a platform over here, which leads me to nowhere. There's a whirlwind here. Let's see where that goes. That takes me. That will just take me back to the end of the level. Um. Hmm. Where... Hey! Okay, there's some. Got one. So I'm probably missing another purple one somewhere, so let me go find that. Okay, yeah, sure enough, it was in here. This, uh, that place with the sun seeds, I had a feeling. I may have missed something here. So this level is now complete. And, uh, I suppose we can exit. Oh, that's exit the area. I can just do that like so. And then I can just exit the level from here. I'll actually use the portal. Nicely done! First level done. Although it's not quite the first level. Get through there, please. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting some gems. Returning to Sunrise Home Springs. I don't know if I read that right. I just kind of saw a couple of words and mashed them together. What's it actually called? It is called... Sunrise Spring Home. Okay, that was close. Now, now that I've got that done and I will never have to return to that place again, uh, that kangaroo level that I unlocked, I think it would be best to do that. So Sheila, Sheila's Alp is what this mission is called. Level, whatever you want to call it. So this isn't a traditional level, this is the one of the new things they've added to this game. So. It's Thanks gonna break Spyro. from the norm, especially no considering it will be the first time not playing a Spyro in a Spyro game. Okay, um, I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Cool. So we're gonna play as Sheila here. There you go. Hiya, Sheila. 
while you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. Oh, no. It's okay, Zo. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. All right, good for you guys. So we gotta get these, uh, uh, I don't know, the sheep goat things <laughs> back into the houses. So we'll be sure to do that. So the kangaroo can double jump, essentially, and attack. And that's about it. And it moves very weird. So let's head up here. Up, up. There's a little thing up here, which I would like to see. Ooh, could have got hit by that guy. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like I... Just because I'm not used to this character, I could easily get hit playing as it, so I feel like this is where I'm going to lose the challenge. Okay, where's the enemy here? There he is. There you go, so far so good. Okay, they are... I think they jumped up there. But I obviously need to get these gems here, first of all. Come on, Sparks. I'm glad I still have Sparks with me. That's nice. I think Sparks was only loyal to Spyro, so that's kind of surprising. Now then. Huh! Yeah, quite make it. There you go. Oh yeah. Get all that as well. Uh, okay, I got this guy to his house. That's nice. Yeah, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Holy crap! You would not make a good omelette out of that because it's already. I don't know, what's the word for it? Developed? <laughs> I was looking for a different word, but whatever. So we save Ruby there. It's cool. Now we gotta help these guys along. Uh, oh boy. Ooh, I thought I was about to get hit. Let's smash this. Uh, and there's another area up here. There we go. Ooh. Trying to get me, huh? Nice. Not sure how to make, how long to make this episode. Uh, I feel like I usually keep episode ones a bit more short than the rest of them. But uh, we'll see. I would ideally like to do world one, but considering there's only four worlds and I usually make five episodes, maybe it would be best to split world one in half. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, missed. Let's get these instead then. Oh boy, it's kind of tricky. <laughs> I got hit, I got hit. There we go, challenge challenge has been voided. Oh well, that sucked, but uh, it is fully expected playing as this thing. I could not hit that guy for shit. Anyway, I prefer Sparks being, being blue, I've said that before. Now, let's carry on. <laughs> Now I've got that out of the way, I can actually take more risks. So, head on over here. Being very thorough in my exploring of this level, especially now that I don't have a mini map. Yeah, make sure I get all these gems. Oh, I kicked him. There you go, bud. You're home. Give me an egg. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> Let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Wow. Good to see that's still happening. Jenny, save your ass. Ah, you butt tooth nerd. Born with teeth though. Impressive. And you can clap and stuff. Amazing stuff. Dragons are probably the smartest creatures in existence. Let's see what's going on here. Get out of my way, fool. That's the thing, you can't like sprint and smash a bunch of vases in one go. Barbie the Marin Go! Okay, taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their hearts. Sma uh, their hearts are too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp their hearts. Okay. I believe it's called head bash, but sure. But I guess he does kind of do a stomp rather than head bash. Help my way. Get these things. Huh. Man, look at all the gems this is dropping. 
Huh. Done. Dealt with. One more. Dealt with like an army of them very well, but just one on his own I could not get. Oh shit. No, oh, it really is an active camera. It really focused on where he was. Okay, let's get this. Nicely done. Okay, I think this level is pretty much done, so that's nice. It wasn't too long. Out, out the way. <laughs> so far, you just kicked the chicken. Hiya! Okay, uh, just a couple more gems scattered around. Be sure to get those before heading off. Done. Some more here. There you go. And of course, there's some more there. This was a help, Sheila. Hey, you're welcome. Nan. Interesting name. <laughs> awesome. So there's a little bit more. If you ever forget how to control. Okay. All right, that's cool. So there's a help section that you can use if you don't know how to play the game. But I'm fine. Except for this, I can't seem to get in it. There you go. I feel like I wasn't supposed to be able to land there. Uh, okay, I don't think you're supposed to be able to make that jump. It doesn't seem possible. There you go. And smash these. This should be the last gems if I've done it right. Uh, nope, but there is that, which I didn't notice. There you go. That should be it. Hopefully I'm right. I think some may have dropped. Sure did. Ah, okay. Seems I've missed some gems somewhere. Judging by that. Which is a real shame. Because I was so confident in myself. Oh, there you go. Alright, let's get that. Huh! Ooh, alive. Ooh la la. Uh, worth mentioning that I had got an additional life from Sparks just eating a bunch of butterflies earlier. If you're wondering about that, you probably don't care. Anyway, let's get that. Nicely done. I cannot move that quick, can I? Oh, there you go. Finally leave this level, huzzah! Woo! Level complete indeed. Second warning, a cutscene just activated. What a stalker. <laughs> what the heck? You just trip over my tail? Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Hey, oh. Thanks, but I think we can Pussy look after cat. ourselves. Try looking after this. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me? Or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Oh, oh, brother. Okay. Now I can carry on. Now I can actually do level one, which is probably piss easy now. Uh, so, if it would let me. I feel like the autosave takes a lot longer in this game. They fuck some things up when they made this. Hey, checkpoint me up. Yeah. Sunny Villa. This is the first level, so it must do it. Trust me, the order I did things was the best, I swear. I think. I don't know. Okay, what's the deal here? Let's get that. Don't know why I flamed it, that's always. Oh, interesting, maybe I did like stuff you can flame. <laughs> That's nothing compared to the remaster. Okay, it's the deal with you. Oh my. Oh Counselor my. George, oh my oh my. Can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. I'm reading over him because I felt like his voice just did not sound very clear. <laughs> Stop running from me. 
Yeah, these look like level 1 type of bad guys. Just cowardice as hell. There you go. Get all that. Where you going, bud? Where you going? Okay. Get that as well, why not? It's in the way. Oh boy. There you go. What's up, dude? Citizen Paulus. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one. Uh huh. I bet you would have. Now then, let's head over here and get this life. Because all you need is a little life. And I missed it. Nice. Ten lives already. Look at that. So, seeing as I didn't get hit as Spyro, I feel like. I'm in a position where I can just say that it didn't count. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on trying to not get hit despite that, and I should do that in general anyway. So yeah, see how far we get again. Whale! Let's go hit immediately. Out the way, sir. Oh, they hit each other. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's one annoying thing about them dropping gems. I can't quite move on without this feeling that I've missed some gems. Hey oh! Oh he didn't hit me. He had he had time to, but he didn't. Interesting. Well what's up here? Okay. Uh got some gems over here. And that's actually what I was talking about. So down well if I could angle the camera correctly. Down there is a side quest and you need that you need Sheila for it and um, you can't obviously do it unless you have him unlocked so that's why I needed to do that but first I know there's a little secret spot here so let me do that who we got got Miles Morales yeah shout out to Miles Morales who recently featured in the Spider-Man game made by Insomniac, full circle, what you know about that? Okay. Oh, that's a shame, it took me back here. Let's head on back. I mean, there was plenty of stuff I missed as I was running through enemies. No. Let's get this guy. Actually, no. Let's get this guy. Out the way, sir. Let me kill your friends. Hi, Spyro. What do you want? Each time a fairy zaps you like this. Bah. Yeah, I know what it does. That Come on. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Flame you. Somehow that flame didn't register. Okay, what? Uh. Huh. Let me go back a bit. I know there's plenty of stuff I missed because I was just running. Uh. But, uh. You know what I'll do in a minute. There you go. Go with that. Like that. Oh, missed him. There you go. These guys do not fight back. So leave that one, really. So anything bigger than you, you pretty much have to flame because for some reason they're immune to headbutts. Uh, which makes sense. I guess you couldn't topple over something bigger than you. for the help. But I think I would... Uh-huh. You're not gonna give me a dragon egg or something? That's weird. Done. Uh, I guess that's all the enemies taken care of. And it kind of unlocks these gates so you can backtrack and proceed. Thank you for Mayor Leo. Uh-huh. Right, that is not a chicken egg, sir. It's funny how it's called Sanders and he's talking about how the city's known for chicken eggs or something. Like Colonel Sanders and KFC, what? That was a far fetch. I'm sorry. That was the okay, that was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Yeah, that's because it was a dragon egg, sir. Oh, he just fucked off. Okay. Done. Completed the level, just need 100% it now. Which is always a much longer process. That's why only the elite get to do it. Uh, there's a little side quest here. May as well do that. I can't quite remember off the top of my head which one it was. Oh yes! Okay! <laughs> so this game is awesome. 
it introduced this new I skateboarding spiral. mechanic. I found this gladiator oh man, it's a good thing I practiced it, it because it is cool a bit tricky. Skate park. Care for a test of your board? Hell yes, let's skateboard. I bet you can't catch all. I bet this was inspired by like Tony Hawk Pro Skater and shit. Catch the lizards. So let's do that. Jump. Got you. And obviously, I want these gems. Uh. Huh. Hey yo. So I'm actually gonna use the D-pad for once because I actually find it a lot easier to control. For some reason. I think it's just because it is so basic in a sense. Like you kind of need to just go left or right. More so than anything. Wow. So you actually gotta press X as you approach a ramp to actually ramp off it like that. Well to do a trick I guess. Yeah get all these lizards, it's gonna take a while. Where is he? Uh, where actually is he? No, you're here somewhere, bitch. I'm just totally failing to see it. Is he in the tunnel? Oh, interesting. Was, uh, I'm not sure if I saw something there, but um, kind of looked like. Oh no, he's up here. Okay. There you go. Hey, that was great. That was great. And while you were boarding, I found a lizard burrow. Is that what he said? <laughs> that can't be what he said. Emily saved you. All right. If you can catch all the Okay, so now you basically have to do the same thing before the time runs out. Uh without wiping out as well. So it is quite tricky, but uh hey, I'm down. So, let's see how this goes. Huh! One down. Oh boy. Oh, already messed up. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try that again. So, one down. That's what I wanted to do. And right here I was supposed to jump. So you wouldn't go off the ramp. Let's see what these guys are up to. Uh huh. Ooh, little shit. Okay, so far so good. Missed opportunity though. There you go. Okay, I need to flip it around, otherwise he falls off. Just one more running around here, which is a bit bothersome, but uh, in fear of falling off there, I totally changed the direction. There we go. Hey, got those guys first try. I feel like I should have probably sped this up because we already see me do it. But I don't know. I've already done a good portion of it now. May as well just uh, carry on. Ah, little asshole. Where are you going? There you go. I knew I'll find a way of hitting you eventually. Uh, okay, there's one on the balloon. See that little green thing? It, it looks like the background clipping through the wall. 
I thought that was some a gem or something that I had to collect earlier, and it wasn't. Anyway, there you go. Get this guy. Still quite a few that I'm missing. Um, well, I know this one back there. Right there. There you go. So going off those blue ramps, that's pretty risky. Uh, that's probably the hardest thing. Oh, one left. I really should... Um, uh, I had every intention of speeding this up, but uh, I just kept talking throughout Whoa, the whole thing. So I'm going to keep sweet. it in. <laughs> look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Okay. It's funny how I talk as though I'm editing at the moment, but I'm not. I feel like I should clarify. All this commentary that's going on right now is in fact happening as I'm playing the game. So it's all authentic here in that sense. <laughs> Which is why my commentary sucks so bad. Alright, let's go. Let's go back. <laughs> I took a board with me, but I guess I can't keep it. Okay, nice. So I probably will have to end the episode off this level, just for brevity's sake. Okay, awesome. Hey, fuck you, what are you doing back here? Okay, I guess uh, enemies respawn if you don't pick up the gems. What is this? What's the deal here? Look, a, chi a chicken turned up. I hope it's not the only one left. Right, I guess those guys were kind of chasing the chickens out of here and eating them or something. Okay. No, I need to actually go back to that other side quest that I mentioned earlier and collect all these gems that I missed. Oh boy, I did miss a lot, didn't I? I did kind of just speed through it. Now, did Sparks pick up that gem? Or was he too distracted by that butterfly? And I guess he was, in fact, too distracted by that butterfly. A pretty little butterfly. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Almost jumped off the edge. I feel like there might have been an invisible wall there, but I'm not going to test it out to find out. Why am I sucking so bad at this? Okay. Oh, you know what it is? I'm still using the D-pad for some reason. Wow, I forgot to flame, I head bashed him instead. Simple mistake, and now I have once again fucked up that little challenge I set for myself. I'm not getting hit, but can I get through the episode without dying? And I can say for certain I probably can at this point if this is the only level left for this episode. Oh man, this is so annoying that everything just kind of respawned. Okay, I think that's most of everything. And hopefully the only remaining gems and eggs will be in that mission that I need to do, which I need to get to. Okay, back up here now. So we want to go on here, obviously get this gem. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was talking about. Sorry, I'm not sure if I said that right. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't done his mission yet, this door is like locked and you can't do it. But because I have done the mission, I can do it. So yeah. Hey Spyro, What's up, there are dude? Roadblocks everywhere. Yeah, nah. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Yeah, sure thing, but... Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, oh, here Alas, we go. I have a loss to my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top... Right, we gotta save his love. Save his love. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, one moment. Sorry about that, someone appeared to be knocking on the door, but uh, it was nothing important. Oh boy. Oh, what the hell, I actually knocked him back, but I still took a hit. Okay, there's a little secret spot here. Let's be sure to go there. Okay, oh man, I don't know what's going on with me this episode. I don't usually sneeze so much, but uh, just one of those days. Huh! <laughs> Fuck! Oh man, I'm still sneezing. Okay. Take you out. Head here. Get Sparks back to gold because it's been a little while. Nicely done. Okay. Sweet. Um, oh boy. 
Oh! Oh, you almost knocked me off the edge. And again, I actually hit him, but um, I guess he hit me too. It's like, not many enemies do that, where you kind of, um, where it's possible to get hit by them, but at the same time, you can still hit them back. You know, like a double kill, or, you know, killed each other, whatever. Whatever the fuck I'm trying to say, I'm sure you get the general gist of it. Hey, oh. Oh, shit. Ow. Dick. Yeah, it's really easy to get hit playing as um, Sheila. Sheila the kangaroo. Okay. Hey, back off. None of that. Yeah, this is kind of annoying having to go back and picking up a gem after you've hit someone. I kind of. I think. It's fair to say I preferred Spyro 2 in that regard. But. I, I want to say Spyro 1 still my fate. Huh. Ho! Hey, no! It's a good thing there's not like enough room to fall out underneath it. Because I feel like I would have definitely done that by now. There you go, the camera is um. It's being controlled. This is not me doing that. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Ah! Oh shit, that was scary. I feel like the camera's fucking me here. Oh, I see why the camera's doing it. It's thinking that I'm climbing up the stairs, but I wasn't. Stop! I don't need it. Was there a gem I missed? Yeah, there was. Okay. Ho! 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 Stop fucking with me, camera. Oh, wow. There you go. This camera, dude, is is just something else right now. It's pretty annoying. Oh boy, it's so hard to check what what's where. Huh? Ayo, made it. It's Pink Michael Panther. Oh, it's Rapunzel. I've got a restraining order against him. <laughs> she had a restraining order against him. It had nothing to do with the enemies. Those enemies were probably like cubs, stopping him from getting in, and now I just, you know, did that. So, questionable what I just did. Oh wow, got a thousand gems already, huh? That's pretty good. Well, but I haven't actually 100%ed it, right? I, I think I got all the eggs though, I wasn't paying attention. I think I missed an area. I think I remember missing this before. Uh, is it... Hey! Okay, yeah, it's definitely there. I need a kick though. There you go. Oh boy. Ooh, I no longer have sparks, so that's risky now. And it's uh, always a lot harder to pick up gems without sparks. That's probably the thing that I missed the most. Oh, good thing I fell down here. Hopefully this will be the last set of gems and then I can leave this level. Because it will be complete. 100%. I will have 100% free levels this episode. And pretty much the overworld as well. And then the next episode will be. Hmm. The next episode will end up being kind of short. So I'll probably fit in a bit of the second world into it. Now, with that said, despite me having got all of that, I'm still missing some gems. Uh, let's have a look how many exactly. I am literally missing one gem. It's not even like a gem that's worth five, it is one. So I'm looking for a red gem, which is probably the hardest thing to find. So I'll come back once I found it. Oh, you know what? I think it's up here. <laughs> oh, thank God. There you go. I was wondering how I get out of here as well. So that explains that. There you go, level complete. So we can just exit. I would like sparks back though before doing so. Okay. Oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I was like, oh, where am I going to find that gem? But uh, it turned out to be okay. Alright, it's bothering me that Sparks is at such low health. I'm just going to get him up a bit before ending the episode. Save my progress, please. Oh, this what? Is too yeah, I know that. He's dead. Okay. Uh, should be like some other instant creature to kill. Plenty. Done. Okay, that'll be a good spot to end it. 
don't know why I'm so determined to go through the portal, I could just exit the level, and you know what, I will. Done. Okay. So, I suppose that concludes episode 1. 100% of free levels in world 1. And all around success. So, with that said, see you next episode when I'll be taking on, I don't know, let's have a look at the atlas. What's left of world 1. Um, obviously 100% in the overworld and doing three other levels, um, two normal levels and a speedway level and of course a boss battle. So yeah, I'll see you then.